Oh, AliExpress, I have a very love-hate relationship with you because you make some cool stuff, but they're getting kind of expensive. Uh, I know for some people still these are pretty good value depending on your country, but Black Series figures, real ones, retail for $25 each. And pretty much all of these, low end, were $25 each. And these, for, for the record, are bootlegs. They're fakes. And they are repaints of a mold that we have seen a hundred times at this point, especially from AliExpress. I've been putting off ordering from them for a little bit because I kind of like ordering them in batches. I don't like just, you know, getting a few of the new ones and then getting a few of the new ones. I, jeez, how many figures do I have in here? Eight, I think. So yeah, kind of got expensive near the end. But we have a lot of cool stuff in here. And I'm really enjoying AliExpress for building out my Black Series clone collection. But, again, the price, man. I I was not very happy to pay the prices I had to pay for these. But I'm still pretty happy with the fact that we have them in Black Series. Because I never really thought we would. So, as you can probably see, I got the Wolf Pack Boys. Uh, because my Black Series Commander Wolf has been very lonely. Very, very lonely. And he needed some friends. So, let us take a look. At what we got here. So let's start off with some of the Wolfpack guys. So I'm trying to think. I think this is Sinker and this is a Trooper. Uh, the Trooper was actually about sold out, so I was lucky to get him. Let's open Sinker first. I'm pretty sure this is Sinker. I think so. Don't quote me on it. I always confuse which one's Sinker and which one's Boost. Because uh, I know one of these is Sinker, one of these is Boost. I'm pretty sure this is Sinker, this is Boost. I'm pretty sure. Uh, I'm not, believe it or not, for how much I love clone troopers, I am kind of, uh, for some, frustratingly notorious for how little I kind of care about some of the specifics and, re like, remembering Legion names and, uh, names and all that. I'm more of a, a toy guy when it comes to the clone troopers. I like the action figures above all else. So, I ended up opening, uh, who I think is Boost first. Uh, I just, I just genuinely don't remember. <laughs> and, you know, it's the same mold we've seen. You know, same exact articulation on all of these. I'm not going to be going into too much detail. One annoying thing. Oh, the helmets are, like, more removable. They didn't even glue them on this time. So, again, we can get a look at that silly Tamora Morrison head. And honestly, for the prices that they charged for these... For $25 each, they should have included the actual faces. Seriously, they really should have. Uh, so it's pretty disappointing that they didn't, but these were still significantly more expensive than many of the others. Uh, but thankfully, because it is removable, we can pop it on a little bit nicer. How is the paint quality? Does it scratch off? Some of these scratch off. No, very good. Uh, still has the same weird smell a lot of these have. Oh, yeah. I can't describe what it smells like. It definitely, You definitely smell that plastic, though. I feel like Hasbro officially might put some sort of, uh, like, odent. Odent. What's an odent? <laughs> an odor uh, reducer or something, I don't know, uh, into the plastic. But AliExpress, the, whatever company makes these, I doubt they really worry about it. So there's who I think is Boost. I've already put it in the annotations if I'm right or not. I, you don't have to correct me. So there he is. And now let's open his bro. The, these actually, surprisingly, are not the first figures of Sinker and Boost. Because we did actually get them in the uh, old Clone Wars 3 and 3 quarter inch line. Very surprisingly, we actually did. I really do have to say, these decos are very nice. Uh, they definitely put a lot of effort into these decos. And honestly, it's getting to the point where it's like, if Hasbro even does officially make these... Do you really need to worry about getting them again? Because the AliExpress ones are really good. Like, they're making such a complete, comprehensive, like, clone collection. We've got Waxer and Boyle from them. They are the first to make the entire Umbara crew. we got Sinker and Boost from them. And another one that Hasbro neglected. Uh, actually, two others that Hasbro neglected. And we're getting stuff that have just has never been made before. So, I'm very happy with... The fact that these exist, but the prices are kind of hard to swallow because they are bootlegs. You know, sure, the plastic, we, we've talked about these things a million times. Like, look at that. That looks great. These look real. These look official. The plastic is pretty much on par with Hasbro's official stuff. I would say it's like 
98% there. It smells different. The paint is pretty spot on. I would say the paint is like 95% there. Like they're, they're just really good. But again, it's kind of a shame how expensive they're making them. And then this is the, oop, he fell. This is the trooper. Here, let me zoom out a little bit because we're going to have a lot more guys opening up. It's really cool that they did make a trooper for the wolf pack because it's something that I think only, uh, I think Lego made the wolf pack trooper phase two and uh, Sideshow made a phase two wolf pack trooper. But it's something that Hasbro never did. Hasbro just did sinker and boost. Where did I put the box? Oh, it fell over. Oh, that's annoying. I've been putting the trash in the box, and I'm like, where's the box? <laughs> so here we have the Wolfpack Trooper. I'm very happy they did this one as well, because it kind of bulks out the, the squad. And I will show these with Commander Wolf, too, because I think that's one of the main reasons I really wanted these, was because I just think they'd look really cool with Commander Wolf. I do feel like there's a bit of a buyer uh, hesitation with these now, because Hasbro did start that, uh, like forces of the republic subline with those clone trooper two packs uh i've missed the pre-order on both of those by the way both the mace windu and the 500 first one so i'm sure i'll get them but uh, i'm i don't stress about pre-orders I'll, I'll i will get them i will i'm not stressing uh but yeah it's very nice to have a trooper finally Ooh, the paint's looking a little rough up there i guess it's just i don't know weathering but it's not intentional weathering that's like a genuine like paint problem right there seems like the edges are a little Kind of, is that intentional or is it just struggling? I think it might be intentional. Yeah, I'm looking at the other ones. Yeah, it's intentional edge wear on the, on the arm paint. But on that helmet there, I don't think that is. Or, no, it's not. I almost thought I saw it on another one. All right, so there is the trooper. And we do have one more Wolfpack trooper to open. And he is very hype. Because, jeez, uh, I remember when I did my every Wolfpack clone video... Uh, for the three and three quarter inch ones. I had so many people comment, and I hate these kind of comments where they're like, you forgot this guy, you forgot this guy, when they are very blatantly wrong. I had so many people say, you forgot Comet, you forgot Comet, and I replied, no, Hasbro forgot Comet. Because Sinker and Boost were kind of a duo in the uh, the very first like season of the Clone Wars where it was like... Uh, you know, wasn't it the malevolence that uh, deactivated the ship and everything? That was like really early Clone Wars. Uh, but Comet was introduced shortly after, and he kind of completed the Wolfpack trio. It was Sinker boosting Comet. However, Hasbro neglected Comet, and it did not make him in the action figure like Wolfpack gift set. So now we do have a Comet, and he looks incredible. He looks absolutely incredible. Yeah, I love the deco on his helmet. He's got so much detail. Uh, again, I do see a little bit of a an error right there, but it's very symmetrical. I think the visors are painted very well. I like the silver in the uh, the mouth vent. Again, it's got the weird like white face. I really think for twenty five dollars a piece, because look at all these. All four of these have the exact same body. The only difference is the helmet. Nice. I was totally thinking that was just going to be a domino effect. But yeah, the only difference is the helmet between all those. So it's kind of like, why are we not... I don't know. Why are they so expensive? Anyways, this guy. This will also demonstrate my uh, lack of knowledge on certain aspects of clone troopers. Because I have not finished playing Jedi Fallen Order. I know that there is a commander, but I thought the commander didn't have any special aspect to his armor. However, oh, rip. However, I have seen this design floating around pretty much ever since the game came out. I do not know if this is an official design or if this is like a fan design or what, but this is the uh, the commander of the, was it the Iron Legion? 13th, I think. Is it the 13th? I don't remember. Again, I'm I, I love these guys, but I can never remember the uh like the name. Oh, he has pistols too. I was about to say, where's his pistols? I'm gonna display him with the pistols. Whenever I get one of these guys with the holsters, I almost never give him the pistols. I'm gonna give this guy the pistols though. Oh, oh, okay. We have an error, guys. This is the first time I've ever seen this. Uh he, his finger is not fully molded. He does not have a trigger finger. Oops. Good one. Good one. What's that on my... I'm noticing... I just washed my hands before this. I guess I missed something. Uh, <laughs> or it could actually be a piece of this guy. I don't know. Look the same color. But yeah, I 
am very surprised he is missing a trigger finger. Okay. That actually means his grip on this gun is not nearly as good as it should be. <laughs> so maybe I can't give him those. Unless I switch him with uh, someone else with that hand. I might just have to do that. That is wild, though. I've never seen one of these straight up with a mold error like that. It's like it wasn't fully filled in in the mold. So yeah, that's bothersome. But yeah, I like this design for the Commander. They did have other designs that AliExpress came up with. But like I said, I have seen this design with like the, the gray added to the helmet. And I do, very quickly, want to compare him to the, uh, the official one. I did not get any bootleg of the Trooper. I just wanted to have the Commander with the Trooper because I thought it looked really cool. Yeah, they match really well. I really like the color swap on the helmet replacing like the mustard yellow with the uh with the gray i like the pauldron the little holsters and it does seem to be pretty much the same deco between them yeah it's just very odd about that finger still pretty happy to have it and last but not least this is a figure that is very cool but also was for whatever reason 28 dollars not not 25 28 dollars it's technically my first AliExpress clone trooper that is not a clone trooper, but I, uh, you know, obviously I'll probably just display him with the helmet. This is Cad Bane in Denol disguise. Denol, Denol, Denol. It's almost a running gag. I can never pronounce his name right. Uh, yeah, this is very interesting because this head sculpt is not a Black Series Cad Bane head sculpt. This is actually a casted downscale of the old Sideshow Cad Bane disguise Cad Bane. So that is very, very odd. But it's still very cool that we got this because, I mean, when else are we going to get Cad Bane and Dino disguise? Is that ever going to happen from any other company? Probably not. So I want to make sure I don't. One of the best ways if you see like a peg stuck like this, pop it out and pop it back in. That should hopefully unstick it. Sometimes it's a bit of a pain. And now it doesn't want to come back in. Come on. Ah, geez. Okay, give me a second. Well, that took forever, but we got there. So yeah, it is very cool that he has the binoculars. And honestly, seeing the AliExpress has made a Phase 1 helmet with binoculars, are they going to give us a Phase 1 Bly? Phase 1 Echo? I don't know. Phase 1 Fire? That would be very cool. It would be very cool to see this helmet get used more. Uh, and it does look very, very cool. I'm not sure if I'll keep it down or not. I kind of like visored clone troopers down how does this helmet fit on the head does it fit on good because i notice this head is very domey and i'm worried that there's not going to be enough space it fits on pretty well i can tell the neck looks a little too long and you can obviously see the blue chin underneath you can always see the chin underneath these modern black series clones though but yeah we have a phase one denal in black series now that's pretty cool. I'm going to call him Dino because I've called him Dino ever since I was a kid. I'm not I'm not worried about it. Uh, yeah, he's very cool looking. But again, $28. Yikes, just because they actually put effort into a head sculpt. I can tell, like, they are just pricing it at that because they knew that people like me would buy it. Honestly, if they would price these as they could price them, these would probably be like 10 bucks a pop. If, if that. Like, these are very cheap to produce. Bootlegs can be very inexpensive. <laughs> and I can tell that they're they're kind of just... They're milking us. I can tell they're milking us. And it's kind of frustrating because they don't really... There's no other real option to get these except through AliExpress. It's, it is what it is. I do need to do one last thing, though, before I close this video. Obviously, we've got the wolf pack. We need to show them with their commander. So let's remove these guys for a second. I can't wait to get the, uh, they inaccurately call it the Lieutenant, but we're getting a Phase 1 500 first. I think he'd look pretty cool with that. But now let's get Comet, and we'll get Sinker. We'll get the Rifleman on one side. And then we'll get uh, Boost and the Trooper on this side. I do not have a Plo Koon. I do not get the Jedi Generals. I just get the Clone Troopers. And... I gotta get the man of the hour. I need to get him in a cool pose. I love this figure. I remember when I got it. I think I got it at Barnes & Noble. The gray matches pretty well, in my opinion. Uh, I think the colors match pretty well. Overall, now we have an actual Black Series Wolfpack squad. And I'm very happy about that. 
overall, AliExpress is still doing good work. Uh, if you want to expand your 6-inch Clone Trooper collection, they are doing a great job. They are making a lot of things that 3 and 3 quarter inch never got around to, ever at all, ever. And that is very nice. Uh, they've actually made a lot of original designs, too, which is very cool for those that really want to branch out their 6-inch clone collecting and really get into army building. They've done a really great job at that. Plastic quality is still good. Paint quality is still fairly good. Uh, but the pricing is getting worse. That is very unfortunate. There is no reason why the Wolfpack Troopers need to be any bit more expensive than any of the other $20 Troopers they've done before. I do, again, understand that for some countries, for the translation of the price... Uh, it's still a good deal. I understand that. But as an American spending United States dollars on these, I spent $25 on the latest official Black Series Clone Trooper, and I spent $25 on the majority of these. I spent $28 on Cad Bane. So, yeah, it's kind of rough. But overall, there we go. Here, let me put the other guys. Here, I'll put him right there. Put his trooper behind him. We'll kind of finish off with a group shot of them and their companion pieces. We don't really have a companion piece for Cad Bane quite yet. Yeah, there we go. Uh, my clone army has expanded pretty significantly. Pretty happy with this. Definitely could have been a little cheaper. Uh, definitely hurt spending this much money on AliExpress in one go. Because I also got a Transformers bootleg. And I also got, believe it or not, a Gunpla bootleg that I do intend on making a video about. So for my Gundam fans, I will have an AliExpress Gundam video coming out. Uh, and I will do also, I'm pretty sure, I'm thinking I'm going to do a video on the Transformer one. Because it's just very cool. Uh, <laughs> so there we go. There is the bootleg, uh, I think, 13th Iron Legion Battalion, whatever. Uh, Sinker, Boost, Comet, and Wolfpack Trooper, and Cad Bane and Denal, 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 whatever disguise. Uh, <laughs> it's. I'm sure some of you guys are so frustrated, like, why, why can't you just... I have had people correct me on these things in the past. My brain, I, I, like, I work a genuine full-time job. My brain ain't got the space to remember all the Clone Trooper stuff as well. It doesn't. I try my best. <laughs> but I, I, like, I've been corrected on how to pronounce Adenal a thousand times. Cannot remember it. Cannot remember it to save my life. So I just pronounced it the way I've pronounced it ever since I was a kid. Alrighty, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Let me know what you think about these. I personally recommend them. I genuinely do. If you are still collecting Black Series, I recommend them. But do keep in mind that there might come a time where Hasbro officially will produce some of these characters. For, like, the Troopers, it's not that big of a deal. But for the named characters, you may be like, Oh, I've got an official Black Series one, especially now there's a new body. Then I have this AliExpress one, so there might come a time where people actually start selling off AliExpress clone troopers. Because watch Hasbro do like a Waxer and boil Phase 2 2-pack or something like that. But given the rate of Black Series, the fact that the line has been going for 11 years, and we are just now getting like a Super Battle Droid and a Droidica, um, might be a bit before they get around to every single Umbara clone. And all of the wolf pack. And Cad Bane and Dino Disguise. It might be a while before Hasbro would get around to it. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much for watching again. Special shout out to channel members as always. Thank you all so much for the continued support. Have a great one guys. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.